Before Ethereum's fifth anniversary this past July, developer Justin Drake said in a Reddit AMA he expects ETH2 to not launch until 2021. But pushback from Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin said a launch date before the year's close. ETH2 promises radical improvements in network scalability, finally addressing an ongoing pain point for both users and developers. While the road to ETH2 has been filled with twists and turns, it appears Baturin got what he wanted. Now, we finally turn to the long-awaited Chapter 4, Serenity. Since our previous three chapters on Ethereum's development in July, general-purpose blockchain has seen tremendous growth, particularly because of decentralized finance, also known as DeFi. We saw food-inspired DeFi protocols taking center stage, yield farming becoming a real profession, and a governance token airdrop that shocked the community. During Ethereum's white-hot summer, the total value locked in DeFi apps surpassed $14 billion at its peak. Today, there are close to 2,000 dApps deployed on Ethereum as the network outpaces its competition while cementing Baturin's initial vision to build a world computer. Baturin has long held that proof-of-stake offers higher security guarantees in the long term than Bitcoin's proof-of-work blockchain. Many other Ethereum developers also favor proof-of-stake because it consumes less energy. On December 1st, we officially logged on to Serenity with the launch of the Beacon Chain. Due to the complexities of relaunching a new version of the blockchain, ETH2 will be released in four phases, starting with Phase 0. This stage of development is centered around the creation of a separate proof-of-stake blockchain called the Beacon Chain. On this new network, investors with at least 32 ETH can participate in the network and earn rewards. But its capabilities will be limited. In the next phase, phase one, sharding will begin and the beacon chain will run alongside 64 identical chains. In phase 1.5, we'll see the current proof of work chain be merged into ETH2. And finally, in phase two, ETH2 will be unleashed with smart contracts functioning a lot like what we see today. Coindesk has decided to get in on the action and become validator by staking its own ETH. As a media outlet covering nascent technologies, we want to chronicle the development of this historic upgrade by participating in it. Running our own validator will give us a real-time window into Ethereum's transition. We're doing this to glean unique insights into Ethereum and deepen our coverage for our readers. All the proceeds will go to charity. With our 32 ETH ticket, we have a front row seat.